What is up, YouTube? So, I am starting off a new game. Uh, this is just gonna be a one part. I just wanted to make a video on this because I have never played this game before and I freaking love Kirby games. So, this is the newly released Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Uh, I believe it's very similar to. What was it? Canvas Curse on the DS. Um, to be honest, that was like my least favorite Kirby game. Uh, so, hopefully, this one is better. Uh, I already like the art style of this one. It's all it's all clay uh, claymation kind of. So hopefully this one's gonna be better. So let's jump right into it. Uh, so story mode. Yeah. So you have to use the gamepad for this game. Um, I believe that there's no other control options. So uh, I'm not gonna be looking at the TV screen uh, since everything's gonna be on the gamepad, but. Uh, yeah, hopefully I don't suck at this game, because I was awful at Canvas Curse, and it was just, in general, I just didn't really enjoy it. But already, I could, I really love this art style. It's all clay and whatnot. Kirby can literally be in whatever art style he wants. It wants, and it's so good. And that's also Bandana D, I believe, that people are calling him. I don't think he has an actual official name other than Waddle D, but people freaking love that guy. Uh, everyone wants some in Smash Bros. Oh. The thing about Kirby games are they always have this thing where, where there's no actual like uh, dialogue really, and all the cutscenes of the story are presented through literally just like simple imagery like this, and then they just kind of get you to figure it out. And it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's, it's Kirby. It doesn't have a very complex plot, whatever it is. It's all these fairies, too, I just really don't know about it. I wonder how they did this, like... Obviously it's not actual clay. I mean, it's probably CG, or in-game graphics or whatever, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> Very pinky apple. So weird. It's like a. It's like Ball Kirby <laughs> from uh, Nightmare Dreamland and I think, uh, Magic Mirror. It's like you're always gonna be playing as Ball Kirby. Pretty cool game, so far at least. Just grab some visuals. Alright, so Green Valley is level 1. Let's get right into this. Uh, Oh, I guess there's multiplayer also. I wonder how that works. Hmm. Okay, so this is obviously probably gonna be like tutorial and they're gonna teach me how to play. Yep, there it is. Oh, okay, so I hit tap him to attack blocks. I think they also said in a Nintendo Direct that the way this game works is you are very limited on how much ink you can draw. So, yeah. So if you screw up, you can actually kill Kirby by running out of ink for his path. So, that's pretty cool. And I, I guess this is the actual level. I think Kirby can only go forward unless you change the direction. <laughs> I didn't think that it work. And... Oh, let's totally screwed that up. God, I missed one. Oh. 
Yeah, so... Yeah, I ran out of ink there, that's what happened. I can't see kids playing this without having a really quick reaction time. <laughs> I, I I bought this intendedly for my little brother because he like he loves games like Death Party and, uh, and the Mario and Toad and whatnot. So I got this one for him. So I actually didn't intend to buy this one because I was I was like you know I I didn't they really like canvas first, so it's like I didn't think I'd like this one, but. I might give this game a shot or two, maybe. I should play it a bit. I really like the visuals, so I got going back and saying that. But, uh. Yeah, so this video is gonna be a lot different from my traditional ones, uh, where I usually just play a game and I talk about it, because I know some things about it. Um, this one's literally just gonna be about. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. If I hold him, goes back. Oh, no, no, go back. There's something there. Yeah, so like, I'm gonna be just, just kind of more like a reaction video, sort of, for me playing the game for the first time ever. Um, I might actually, I'm, I'll probably go back and do videos on games I actually know because I personally prefer those. But this one I kind of want to do because I was very biased against this game. Being it uh, similar to Canvas Curse. Man, like, how did they do these visuals? It's so cool. <laughs> like, I really like it. It's like Play Doh. Who didn't play with Play Doh in there, kid? Running out of ink is actually very, uh, uh you, have to, you have to watch for that, I'm not really focusing on it. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to make this video go, but I'll probably just do it for maybe like 20 minutes or so and then I'll stop the recording. But as you can see, the, video, uh, the, the game has got really good mechanics at least. The gamepad is really nice for this actually. It's a lot better than the um, 3DS to DS because uh, the small screen on the DS made it a little hard also to play in this course. This game actually handled really well. I have no idea how to <laughs> how to do that super thing anymore. It's like, uh, I guess I can only do it when I'm at 100 stars, maybe. Let's think. Let's see. Personally, my favorite Kirby game is uh, Nightmare in Dreamland because it's a remake of the um, the uh, is, uh, Kirby's Adventure. And, uh, Nightmare Dreamland just made everything better by actually distinguishing the various forms of Kirby. And I just liked it better. But, um, a lot of people like that Nintendo 64 one. Uh, I don't remember what the name of it was, but, um, I, I never really played that one much. And I don't think I've even ever beat it. I'm more a fan of the, uh, traditional kind of Kirby games. Probably like some time challenge thing. Let's see if there's a clock, but. Oh, crap, it started. I thought that was like a countdown for when it was gonna go. Oh. Uh, go faster. Oh my god, clutch. Ah, oh, I missed the train. Dang it. Let's see if these guys are back. Your souls. 
new March stars. Yeah, I got a hundred. Okay, yeah, so I have to get a hundred in order to do that super powered like super ball thing. That that makes sense. I mean if you were to do this but like standard it makes sense. Okay, so I only have four health bars. very long. <laughs> also, it's nice with the tomato. I feel like I just said potato, potato or something. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh, they're moving. Oh crap. No. Balloons. They're escaping. Oh god, no. Oh, it fell. It's like the one thing I don't like about Kirby games is how they kind of just throw you in without it really expecting you to know anything. And it's, it's great because, you know, it's, it's freaking Kirby. I mean, it's not really that complex, but sometimes they just have, like, these just learn from past experience kind of things. Did you never play the Kirby game before? It's like, this is how you play it. It's like, alright, good, good, good shit. I don't know if those gray areas are. Oh, did I, do I lose ink if I go in this? I don't know. That was weird. Well, all of a sudden I'm playing Sonic. And then just. Oh. Oh, boop, boop, boop. Okay, this is what to pick. Uh, ideally, I want the three up, but I also want to see what that book is. Screwed that up. Alright. <coughs> Good shit. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Alright, well, eh, I, I almost had it. I tried to recover it there, but. Felt, felt too fast. Alright, so, in terms of visuals and music, this game definitely is really good in it. Uh, in terms of gameplay, it's still very much like Canvas Curse. Um, but. It handles a lot better, at least. And, like, of course, every Kirby game has, like, these collectibles and stuff. So, that was one level, and it took me... What is this, like, 15 minutes? Holy crap. Oh, so, okay, so now I can use Amiibos. So, um... I do have the Kirby... And Meta Knight one, so let's try this. Let's try it with Meta Knight. See what happens. Okay, so I don't know what that does, but <laughs> guess we'll try it with that. Like, like again, Kirby games. They don't. They don't really. They don't really tell you what what uh, what you're doing. Oh, okay. Wow, that's. Hmm. Oh, damn. I was. I didn't know this was plants in the back. Alright, so. Amiibos give you, like. Boosts. Um. I wanna say that's kinda cheap, but. I mean, you have to buy Amiibos if you wanna do it. It's like, this is not so bad, but. This Meta Knight one is kinda. It's kinda cool. Hopefully I can beat this level fast enough so I can actually try the Kirby one out and see what the Kirby one actually does. This, is, this one's really kind of OP though. <laughs> so fast. If anyone wants to like speedrun this, they gotta have this one. 
speed boost so crazy. I guess you like Sonic. So, uh, I don't have the DDD amiibo because they didn't get any, and um, apparently DDD and Meta Knight are like uh, very hard to acquire. Uh, Meta Knight I actually got because I know the person that was the best buy in here. I made sure they helped me one. Not really, actually, but you know, yeah. Meta Knight was hard to get, though. Kirby is like everywhere, except apparently like in Australia. So, sorry to those Aussies who want Kirby and Amiibos, you know, feel your pain, because, you know, some people would really like to get a little Mac or whatever, but, I mean, I have one. Seriously, Nintendo with these Amiibos, they... They're sitting on a gold mine, they're just not using that gold mine. Really. Well, I don't know what the terminology is, but yeah. How many levels this game has? Because this, this is, uh. I feel like a lot of the levels would eventually just follow in the same pattern. <laughs> I don't see this being a game where you could keep pulling off the same kind of thing like this over and over. That being said, this is very reminiscent of, um, Green Beans. Uh, and for those who don't know, Green Beans is like the first level. Like, uh, I wanna say Kirby's Adventure. I always get Kirby's Adventure and Kirby's, uh, Kirby's Dream when I'm confused. Draw the painting. Oh, uh, maybe I need to get like a max stars. That makes sense. I can't even go back down to it. I'm not gonna 100% this game, anyways. I doubt it. Usually, not one for 100% of games unless it's like an Xbox game. I might just go for achievements. Oh, also need one pinball. Alright. Do I need the maximum tomato? Not really. That being said, I don't know if it just heals like it does in every game, or if it actually has a clip. Okay. Oh, of course. You always have one of those kind of like things in Kirby games where you're just like going through cannons like crazy. You usually overdo the crap out of it, but I guess in this one they're like, hey, let's calm down with you a little bit. I really don't like that. That's just health, so I don't need that either. Yeah, sorry for not saying much. Uh, I, I, this is the first time ever I've done a video like this where I've played the new game and like literally I'm experiencing it for the first time ever. So, uh, you know, my bad. I'm sure this is pretty boring for all of you guys watching, as it is with almost all my videos. But hopefully, you know, at least you can watch it and see, hey, you know, this game was pretty fun, or whatever. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, more than I am with, like, Canvas Curse and whatnot, but, uh... I feel like if you don't have a screen, uh, screen protector for your, uh, for your gamepad, you're gonna screw up something, because you gotta, like, draw all over this thing. 
So get a screen protector, guys. You know, those things are like two dollars to like five dollars. Not very expensive. Okay, I'm gonna go for the strike chest first. Oh. Okay, well, I guess if you get the treasure chest, it just kicks you out of the room. That's cool. I didn't want to do that. Crap. Alright, well. <laughs> wasted that thing. Oh, I just did it, and I wasn't even at 100, so I guess I don't need 100 stars to do it. I'm so confused. About time. So I missed one chest so far. Man, I'm all oh wait, uh, I know. I, I did miss that first one. So dumb. I already forgot about it. Attacking is hands down the weirdest thing in this game because it's like you just kind of dash into people, but I can't really, I can't really control it that well. It said I do have a reaction time of like 30 or old. So. Oh, 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 I dropped my stylus. <laughs> Luckily, I caught it. Uh, hey, you have a tomato, potato for me. Oh, okay, so it does give you points. Crap, I should have just grabbed them then. Uh, this level is really long. I feel like I, I think, uh, I think it was IGN. Uh, I, I usually really don't like reading game reviews, and I don't like doing reviews myself. I, I'll make opinions on games, but I don't really want to give them a number. I fucked that up. But um. Uh, I think they said that this game's levels go on for way too long. I can definitely see what they meant by that. Like, I feel like this level should have ended like 20 minutes ago. Uh, this is an awesome remix of the uh, Lollipop song. I don't. Uh, that's what I call it. I don't know if there's an actual thing, but yeah. This levels been going on for like 10 minutes. How many levels are in this game? No, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> God! Mm. Alright, so I realize I'm not very good at that. <laughs> I'll get it down eventually. But, yeah, so the Meta Knight Amiibo, pretty, fr uh, pretty freaking cool. Um, it gives you, like, a speed boost, and that's always really good to have. Um, I'll probably look up what the DVD one does, since I don't have it, but that's pretty cool, though. Okay. okay, that name alone makes me want to play this level, so I'm going to go a little bit more over time than what I intended, and I'm going to play this one more. And this is the Kirby Amiibo that I just scanned. So let's see what this one does. But it's a great cave escape. I like that. Let's see. That's so weird that he's just like... Oh, okay, I could... Oh, that, okay, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm stuck. Okay, I guess I gotta block it off first. So you can't, you can't move if you're under that waterfall. Like, it will actually just... I don't know what the Kirby one does. He does have like a like a orbit around him. So maybe this maybe it's a shield? Uh, I don't really know that. Again, they don't tell you. My gamepad's actually gonna die. Yeah. So if <laughs> my gamepad dies in this I'll I guess I'm done playing for 
now. I should have record I should have recharged it before I recorded, but I got so excited about playing the four games. Oh, I want that actually. Okay, well, at least I got it. <laughs> kind of did do it as well as I planned, but, but it's all good. Oh, I could draw over it to race it. Dang, I didn't even know that. How pretty is all Oh, man, I could have got that chest then. I thought I had to, like, plow into it. There's been so much that I could have actually just cleared out that play before. <laughs> I was like sitting there, I'm like, what? I'm stuck. So, I, as you can see, this video so far should be like, like, stream quality, where I don't really talk much when I'm playing, but... Fortunately, where I live has a really shitty uh, upload speed, uh, the internet, so I can't really stream. I would love to stream, but I can't, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's not even a shield. I don't even know what it does, because I just took a hit. So now I'm just even more confused. I have to look that one up. I think it, maybe it gives me more stars? I'm not really watching that either. And I also just stood there again. So we're sat there. I'm gonna get this chest. Crap! Okay, so you gotta act immediately. I keep I keep going in there and I'm like, oh, this is a countdown for me to start. It's like, ha ha ha. Like, no, not even. Like almost 100% certain that there actually is something at the top of that waterfall. I'm just not gonna bother figuring out what's up there. It's just destroyed the block already. Today I learned that it's really hard to draw circles. <laughs> oh, and I screwed myself over it today. I also learned that I'm not very good at drawing lines and or various shapes. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, okay, that's cool. The water pushes me down. This level's going on for seven minutes so far, so yeah, I guess all these levels are like ten minutes in length, average. I don't really have a problem with it, it's just like, 
Oh, man, these levels are way longer than most Kirby games usually are. Most Kirby games, the levels are like five minutes each at the most. We can do triple... triple the lust again. I had a stroke there trying to figure out what the heck that game's name like is. Triple Deluxe, actually, another really good Kirby game. So it was a good comeback Kirby game. For, the, for handouts, at least. Played very much like, uh. Uh, what is it, uh? Return to Dreamland, which is also a really good one for the Wii, so. If you've never played Triple Deluxe, uh, pick it up. It's a pretty good game, also. I would honestly just say to get the Dream Collection, because that's like the best Kirby bundle to ever exist of all time. And it would be vastly better if it also had uh, that new Dreamland. Oh, are you f- uh, Alright, I'm, I'm gonna get the book. This is my last level I'm gonna play for this video, so I gotta get that book. Oh, look at that clutch drawing I did there. Alright, so now we're gonna find out what's in that book. I'm gonna laugh so hard if it's nothing. Okay, so those are called secret diaries. Let's see what's in them. Oh, it's not, it's not gonna show me. Do I actually have to go there? I think I actually have to go there. Ugh, oh, okay, yeah, I actually gotta go and look at it. Oh, it's boss looking. Ah, uh, this video's gone on too long. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. Sorry, if you wanna see who the boss is, uh, play the game. Buy it. It's actually a lot cheaper than most games anyway, so... You know, go buy the, go buy the game. Oh, so it's just like a profile page for the characters. Okay, well, that's actually not that bad. It's pretty cool. So they have like trophies, kind of like Smash Bros. They're calling figurines. So they have like... Oh, that's really cool. So they have like these and there is like a little profile on the side, but I guess that's even more description, like height and stuff. So I guess uh, if you're into that... <laughs> so, Clacia, I guess, is the hands? Oh, that's pretty cool though. Definitely gonna try and get as many of these because I really like them. It's just for me. It's awesome, 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 awesome. Kind of sucks that you can't play as Meta Knight though. I think the six second player plays as uh, Waddleby. So, all right. Uh, sorry, sorry if uh, this video bored you. It was more of a first experience for me in various ways in trying to do these kind of like first time playing game kind of stuff. Um, hopefully you could you watch this video and you could judge how fun the game is. Uh, from what I've played, honestly, I can say that it handles a lot better than Canvas Curse. Music and visuals are great. Level design is pretty good. Uh, the levels do seem to go on for way longer than I feel like they need to, but overall it's a pretty good game and I think I played three levels and that was like 35 minutes and I didn't even fight the boss yet so I guess I can assume that the game is going to be pretty long. Uh, as you see most Kirby games on average have like six worlds or five worlds or something like that so uh, it's probably like a probably like a four to five hour maybe six hour game so at least that's what I'm assuming I'm not don't, don't take this as fact but um yeah it looks like a pretty fun game though. Uh, definitely we'll go back and play this a bit more uh, and to celebrate this new game's release I'm actually gonna be continuously doing more Kirby games uh, and I'm gonna be releasing like a bunch of Kirby games uh, out of the dream collection so you know you got that to look forward to so uh, thanks for watching you guys and uh, you know Kirby's awesome so get, uh, get the game if you liked what you saw and Maybe the other games I'll play will also make you guys want to buy Kirby games, because Kirby's awesome. Alright, see you guys in the next video.